Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be episode two of NHL Playoff Hype, a preview to all of the potential elimination games tonight as every team is up 3-2 to two in the series, respectively, for the teams that are winning this series. As Let's get right into it. As Please like, comment, and subscribe here and at Steel Flyers, as well as all the beautiful people that are on the Steel Flyers website in the links section. But the first game of tonight is going to be between the Pittsburgh Penguins and New York Islanders. Ilya Sorokin came in and provided a great spark of energy, a great lightning bolt of energy for that team, and really Really sparked them and got them going even more so since he's been in the series. Varley came in, was a little cold in the series since Sorokin's come in. They've had even more energy, and they've really been playing a good style of Islanders hockey taught by the great Barry Trot. And as long as they keep doing that and Ilya Sorokin stops, when they do get high-octane scoring chances, they've been limiting them with the high octane scoring chances fairly well, the Islanders have for Pittsburgh. They should be able to cap off this series tonight. That would be the key for them. The key for Pittsburgh would be keep trying to supply the pressure and get the octane scoring chances on Sorokin, even though he's been as hot as Nabokov in some of his runs back in the day. That he's going to have to get beat eventually if you keep getting the high octane scoring chances. And two, Tristan Yari's got to get good with this, the glove. He's got to grab it better with the trapper. Those would be the keys for Pittsburgh. So that would be for that game tonight, which starts at 6.30. For the Florida Panthers versus Tampa Bay Lightning, it would be Spencer Knight is a big key for the Florida Panthers. He's one of the biggest keys. He brought a lot of energy and lightning into that 4-1 to win that the Panthers were able to bring a strike of a lightning bolt into the lightning and really shock them and get going in that game. If he can keep backstopping them really well and they can play that pressure-oriented game they were able to play, really get the energy from their young goaltender really playing a good game, would have to envision obviously he would be in this game. They're stupid if he's not after having that good of a last game. Then the Florida Panthers could push this to Game 7. The key for the Lightning would just be get as much pressure as you can. Spencer Knight played a hell of a game last game, but you still got to get as much pressure as you can. Uh, he made 36 saves on 37 shots, but he's still a young rook in his only his second playoff game after only playing a handful of games in the regular season where... Obviously, Dreger and Bobrovsky played the majority of games. You just got to get the pressure on him. You got to keep going. You obviously got some motivation. You have some guys that might be banged up, but you got to keep going with you're the Lightning. Keep the pressure going. You have the best goalie in the world in Vasilevsky. You still got a great offensive team. So as long as they can do that, they should be able to capitalize this series. So that would be that game. Then the final game of the night, the Vegas Golden Knights could clinch over the Minnesota Wild if they beat them after the Wild, led by a fantastic game by Cam Talbot, were able to win 4-2. to They only had 14 shots on goal and won 4-2 to when Vegas had 40. So what do you think the utmost key to the game is for the Minnesota Wild here? Take the opportunist, basically like almost... Um, how teams like the Stars were in last year's playoffs, but just play a great defensive game and hope your goalie stays as hot as a firecracker and really plays really well in Cam Talbot. That would be the key to them really being able to extend the series for Vegas is just do the same damn thing. Keep bringing the pressure, keep bringing the ante, keep bringing that intensity, and you should be able to get it passed. You should be able to win. I mean, if you get the shots 40-14 to 14 again, I think Vegas is going to win this game and ice the series, and it's not going to be to the Minnesota Wild back-to-back games. But hats off for them for being able to push this series as deep as they are. The Minnesota Wild were a surprise team all season. They're able to push it as deep as they are now. So definitely hats off for them for that. We got the great battle of Florida that's going to be a great um, bat. We knew that was going to be a great battle going in. It has become that. And then the unknown series, because the Islanders won is steady rounding out the season where Pittsburgh was great, has become a very good series. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick NHL playoff hype second episode that is on previewing all the games tonight. Stay tuned for the next episode of NHL Playoff Hype where I'm going to do some Pacific player videos to highlight just how good they're doing. Stay safe, everybody. Enjoy the Stanley Cup playoffs. And as always, stay safe out there. Peace out and be kind to each other. Peace out, everybody.